Actually, wait, bees with them. Wait, no, wait, what if I go back? <gasps> what if I make it so bees come out of an animal? What if I stuff a wolf with bees? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Bees. Yes! Yes, I'm gonna put bees. Bees in a snapper. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna load the turtle with bees. <laughs> yes. I'm back too. Wait. What was it called again? Inscription. Yes, inscription. We're gonna left off of, like, beating... The Prospector. The Prospector. I do believe. Eh, we're just continuing where left off. We're trying to beat the game. I already saw Manly Badass played in. Wait, Haynes. No, oh, they did. They re, they relo, relocal, pfft, reclosed it. No, oh, we're, 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 we were in. Eh, I'm being tongue tied today. We weren't meant to be in the safe, anyways. So, whatever. It didn't save the progress of me opening it. We will continue playing without delay. The question, though, do we have stuff in our backpack? Or no, we used it all. So we could make our creatures stronger. By doing a sacrificial thing. I can't 100% remember the fire pit. But also this skull with a bird on top looks questionable. Maybe it would be like a tough fight. Um, This is tough. Like we don't have enough cards. I can't remember if we'd get cards from the fireplace. But we'd do the backpack and get three goodies that would help with fights ahead. Or we can make a new monster stronger by combining them. I don't want to die once. I want to try to run this without dying. So... Fuck. Eh, we'll do the backpack. It might be a mistake, but... Squirrel. Um... Teeth? No. <laughs> Just the constant squirrels. That would help, to be honest. Extra squirrels would very much help. You know what? Let's do it. Three squirrels. Let's see what happens. What you got? I'll try my best, obviously. Strange larva. Oh, yeah. Douchebags outside. Bees! They fly, too. Airborne. Um, they're weak though, but I'm gonna assume this might be like there's tons of them. Strange larva, I am curious. Cat. Okay. So if we put the squirrel, we get the cat, and then the strange larva. I don't want him to possibly die. It's not like he will, but I do have to block one of them, obviously. I don't want the cat dying as well. So strange larva sounds good. Yeah. I don't want to waste any of the bottles. The bees will come. What? What? Uh, we'll get another squirrel. The strange. Ooh, it's now a pupa. I mean, he's still gonna attack above. So I mean, mm. so we'll put the squirrel. We'll put. Bop bop. Bitty boop. Bitty bop. And the turtle will just completely protect this for a long time now. And the pu strange pupa, though. I wasn't expecting it to keep going. Yep. Ooh, Mothman! Damn, he's airborne seven damage. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, well he has to do damage, or else I'm gonna die though. So uh, let's hope for Raven. Uh, the River Snapper will attack, so I should survive if I stop right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 Mantis. What was that? Interesting. But yeah, okay, Raven. Boop, boop, beep, pop. Oh yeah, this damage. So wait, the bee. The bee. Hmm, wait, the bee. Oh yeah, the Mantis. The Mantis is an interesting card. So he attacks. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and to the right, but not ahead of it. Interesting. And the bullfrog catches flyers. But that's fine enough. I, I, I don't have a flyer. I have the turtle. And the turtle 
The snapper will obviously defeat the frog. The raven will do two damage to him and avoid the bee. I thought the air would attack air, but that's not the case. They both attack over each other. So basically the bees, are, if flyers are interacting with each other, the stronger the flyers that you have, it's going to, it's like, I guess the strategy I'm trying to say is, if you have an enemy who has a flyer, always put a flyer in that exact same position. As long as your flyer is better than their flyers, you'll always take more health away from them than they will of you, while also their flyer is not going to kill your flyers because they go over each other. So that means the only positions they have left in this scenario is playing monsters that aren't flyers in the two extra slots that they have. So I mean, I feel like then, you know, I'll have all my slots, but theirs are blocked because mine do more damage. That's at least effectively how I'm viewing it. But anyways, we basically won at this point, because I'll do 7 damage, 2 damage, and at the very least, the Mantis doesn't kill the cat. But that doesn't matter. He won't even kill the Mothman. But, but that is... I'm happy. Like, the... It's a 1 cost, but 7 damage card. I'm very happy that I got the unknown larva or whatever. Very happy. Now let's watch how this goes out. Boom. Oh, yeah. How brutal of you. <laughs> you dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. I'll be meeting him soon enough. I think, actually, this is the trapper right here. Yes, you were stopped along by the trapper, looking for, to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at my pelts? I have a lot of teeth for you, buddy. How much do you have? Oh, take a pelt free of charge. Um, th this one? See the quality. Mmm, go on, pelt. It's fluffy. How many tooth do I have? Is he one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? I could get the. Mm. Oh yeah. You're leaving already. I. What are pelts for? Mmm. The th <laughs> he's tired. The thanks for the business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the trader down the road, the path, would reward you for them. Well, we have to find out, because I got the, like, the earliest possible. I don't know if there's any other YouTuber than who's gotten this good. Like, you know, getting the pelt so early in the game. I feel special, though. Uh, I obviously don't need to do the backpack, because we've got three scrolls. We can only hold three, so we're gonna go this way. Wait, what if I change the larva? I can't even remember. Ooh, golden pelt. We don't, we don't, we, we don't want to mess with the... Um, I'm trying to remember, though. It's the- we picking the one at the top would be the one that will be changing. Um, Strange larva. I don't know if I want to mess with that. Like, obviously the whole thing would be make something as brokenly overpowered as possible. But... how? Making a flying wolf would be cool. But making a flying larva... Hmm. If I made a flying larva, it wouldn't be at any threat from land creatures, and it would turn from a flying larva, or submersible. Hmm. That's actually a good question. How is this? A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn, so it can't get attacked. Ah, oh, Strange larva. But, I mean, like, if I... I guess it would also depend, I mean, what you sacrifice with it, but, you know what? Raven. What if I made... I, what if I made the raven undying? Making it so the cat becomes one of the creatures you already have is good. But the problem is the raven costs a lot, and having a cat oh, would be somewhat of a pain. Ugh. Oh. This is annoying. <laughs> Having to think this hard now. What if I made it so the strange larva was had the cat's infinite sacrificial ability? 
I might then think about like the, the strange larva also you can tell I guess rare cards are more orangey colored I guess this one's like super orange but this one's old orange like it's ancient while these ones are more fresh if I gave the strange larva the infinite cat ability he only costs one to play but obviously becomes overpowered if he's infinite sacrifice that means while waiting I can use him as a cat or uh, Wait, or, you know, use it as a sacrifice. We'll see. What can I do? We can give it flight, we can give it submersion, or we can give him... Uh, the submersion would be a waste. I mean, actually, I mean, he flies. If he's flying and, uh, and submergible or waterborne, then he, there'd be absolutely zero way for it to get attacked. But... It, submersible larva. <laughs> Fuck. I don't want to make mistakes. All these decisions are really harsh. Not to skip ahead, though, so I stop rambling. I'm kind of curious, what if you do airborne times two? Does that mean anything? I don't know, whatever. There you go. Strange larva. Now I can sacrifice him while putting him on the field. Alright, let's battle. I, that took a long time, but whatever. Stump. Strange larva, a... A kingfisher. Oh, he has submersible and flying. And then you get the coyote. Stop tapping your hands. Hmm. So, he also, also can be sacrificed constantly. So that'd be a benefit, too. Hmm. Ew, there's a spider on the board. What the hell, man? So I won't be able to kill... The Kingfishers. Hmm. I think we just had to basically win these as fast as possible. So anyways, Squirrel. And... Strange Larva, probably to here, yeah. Bonk. Because then he won't be attacked, and as soon as I destroy the stump, I'll be able to do stupid damage. The problem will be... The Coyote? I don't want the Coyote to do damage to it. We'll see. The stow would be able to kill him, so we should do the stowed. <laughs> Total misplay. F the fuck you talking about, bitch? You'll, you'll do fine. What the hell is he talking shit for? Misplay. Do you, do you believe this dude? Do you believe this dude? He dares talk shit like that. But yeah, like now in this situation, see, look at this. I can just play the. Oh, yeah, my bad. Um, I'll grab rabbit pelt. Oh, come on, this is a waste. Having pelts in your hand sucks. The fuck. Well, anyways, whatever. Um, bonk, bonk, bonk. And then he'll kill the coyote. What? What's the misplay? This stoat doesn't know jack shit. The stoat acting like he's, like, you know, he knows better. Why am I getting pouts? See, I just don't have to do anything now. Whoo! Haha! <laughs> yeah, the flying mothman. How am I gonna be beaten? Now I get free cards. Now the sparrow. Ooh, the inv inviolable, 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 inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. I, <laughs> that sounds hilarious, to be honest. We'll, go, we'll take it. You will draw bees. Yes, the bees. Hmm. I'm not sure what the this skull is, so I'm gonna have to take that. Can I? Can I get rid of these? No, I guess not. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about the campfire. I don't know if I want to risk it. We could make more hilariously broken cards, though. Mm. We'll see. What can we do? First, the top one. Oh, beehive. What if I make it a submergible beehive? No. Because beehive is bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, I need it to get attacked. 
if I can make it so it's like the beehive recovers one health every single time, then that'd be great. But, hmm. Actually, wait, bees with them. Wait, no, wait, what if I go back? <gasps> what if I make it so bees come out of an animal? What if I stuff a wolf with bees? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bees, yes! Yes, I'm gonna put bees. Bees in a snapper. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna load the turtle with bees. <laughs> yes. If I load something with a lot of health, bees. Then it will survive the attacks and keep summoning bees. Yes. Turtle, you'll be full of bees. <laughs> yes. Yes! I'm truly evil. I don't have anything with a lot more health. I'm sure down the road there'll be a monster, like the Yeti thing had seven health, if I remember correctly. I'm sure there could be monsters with like eight and nine. Like, what if we loaded bears with bees? I loaded my turtle with bees! <laughs> bees within! <laughs> it's, just, it's killing me. Now what is this? What is this? Huh? Oh no. Everything has the way what? Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will oh move. Oh. Eh, whatever. I need I mean they're all a river otters. So I mean he's they're flying and submersible, so I can't attack them. Yeah, bugs. I can't attack them basically no matter what. Mmm. There'd be a way to get rid of them besides scissors, I'm sure, but... Mmm. We at least have one score. Oh, flying wolf. Um... But we don't have the card I really want. And all these take two blood, and I don't want to use any of the squirrels yet. So... Hmm. I guess I don't have much of a choice. I gotta balance the damage we I, I'll temporarily take. Hmm, uh, whatever. Okay, fine. You and... I'll put you there. Bonk. Yeah. Okay, um... Hmm... I need one of my good cards. Hmm... I'll need to do damage damage. Uh... Flying wolf. It'll go over the coyote. Shit. It's gonna actually bug me. Okay. Okay, good. I took the risk. Um Maybe I'll use one of these though. Sacrifice the otter though? Yeah. Okay. And now if I can survive one more turn, which I should, because he'll kill the tree, he'll evolve once. I'll be able to get one squirrel and summon a wolf to return the damage. So we should be fine. They're gonna take a decent amount of damage here and there. We should be fine though. So now I just have to get this and put you down. I need a... Hmm. If we do the raven now, I wouldn't kill the coyote and I really need to. Hmm. Wait, oh, I would, wouldn't be able to kill him anyways. I guess I should move him here. Hmm. I'll need something later. I hope I just don't die. That should be enough to hold me off. Uh, maybe not. Fuck! Ah, shit! No, oh, I made a mistake. Fuck. I made a mistake. Oh, that's not good. 
That's not good. I was hoping I'd hold, be able to hold off one more attack. You encountered because then I would have had obviously the Mothman. You encounter a small outpost in the open woods, tended by a mysterious woman. Is the traitor? Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Okay, what you got? Do you mind if I examine those pelts? Go ahead. Let's start with your hair pets and pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. <gasps> Grizzly. Hey. But Warren. Elk. A sprinter. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction. I mean, that's kind of useful. I mean, it does have good health, but what is Warren? Rabbit hole. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power and one health. Mmm, they keep multiplying, you say. Mmm. A card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. So, a constantly sacrifi a sa a sacrificial, like, instead of squirrels, basically rabbits. Hmm. When a card bearing the sigil is played, it's not saying that every turn you get a new rabbit, but it's just you get one rabbit. And the ra warren itself counts as a possible sacrifice card. Anna has two health, but also creates a rabbit. So it's basically a, a two squirrel card, I would argue. That's pretty interesting. But grizzly, but it takes three. You know, I'll go with warren. Is that a golden pelt? Oh, Gek. Why Gek? Why would I want this? Like, unless there's like, like it has like, like a dragon icon on the top left, but unless there's like a, you know, bonuses for having the same icon. <gasps> Wait, I guess second strange larva? Mole man, what was mole man? Mole man. Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing a sigil will move to that space instead. In a mighty leap, it blocks. Huh, it. I can't remove the tape, too weird. A card bearing a sigil will block the opposing creature. So he blocks air creatures, but when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing a sigil will move to that space. Interesting. I might actually need this for strategy purposes. Like, if I'm having the situation where I want to hold off while my strange larva grows, this guy will block all land attacks and all air attacks, protecting an opposing creature bearing the... And this is an empty space would be struck. Does that mean any space of the four spaces, or just the ones to the, its sides, left and right? It makes it sound like that it will move to that space anywhere on the board. So this guy will be really great for, like, you put him first and foremost, he blocks all the attacks as the strange larva grows to become overpowered. For my current strategy, I'd say he's perfect, honestly. These pelts are most excellent, my thanks. But the question, obviously, is... If I get the Mole Man early, if I get him later, I would suck. If I could make it so I pick which cards comes first, but it's, you know, it's it's shuffled every time. Um, well, let's go here. I'm not sure who I'd want to sacrifice and for what, though. Like, he's got a lot of health. If I could get both of his abilities and shove them elsewhere, but he's got the health that's needed for that. So it's like, what if I gave him more abilities? Hmm. If I made him fly, that would kind of be kind of be pointless. I don't know. If I gave the wolf his abilities, that would sort of also be pointless. The best case scenario I'd find is if the Warren, I put his ability on someone that doesn't cost blood. Hmm. You know, I think the only thing I'd really want to do, I guess, is change the river otter because it's the thing that costs the least. I wouldn't want to put the rabbit hole in. You could make as many jokes as you could, furry wise. Like, just imagine this for a second: wolf with rabbit hole. So it's like instead of the turtle 
being stuffed with bees. You're going to have a wolf stuffed with rabbits. So it's like... I, I don't even want to go in the direction I'm, I was going to say because it'd be too much for YouTube. But you just had to just, just think about it. Rabbit hole. Tons of rabbits inside a wolf. The rabbits are also multiplying in this hole. Inside the wolf. <laughs> I'll do with the otter. The otter doesn't. <laughs> otter, you become you become the the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole. A rabbit is created in your hand. The rabbit comes out of the the otter's butt. Okay, that that's how it's gonna be. Yeah. You are the rabbit hole, Mr. Otter. All right, and then we get to deal with the boss. And as long as we beat the boss, the candle life shouldn't matter. So I have to go hardcore on this guy. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler, though fish. Alright. The stone! That's a good way to start. What has he got? Oh god, the kingfisher. Okay. The raven, the wolf, the squirrel. Okay, I put the squirrel and I get the stoat. The problem is... He won't be able to attack the bird because it's a flyer. Actually, wait. I mean, because it's submergible as well. I just have to have him out here so he can be a constant... He, he, don't give me sass. You stay there. I could also put more cards, but I don't know if this boss will destroy my hand quickly, so I'd rather play it safe. We'll take one of the squirrels, and we'll do this. We'll get another flyer. Boopity boop. Just to, you know, just to make sure we do good damage at the start. We gotta make sure we have the upper hand early in. Cause I don't know how strong this boss is. Which fish hard chews? Hey, hey. Um. Oh man. I don't want him. To, he looks like he's gonna hook this. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't. I don't like that. I'm gonna maybe use him then. Because it looks like he's gonna hook and take the stoat or something. Fresh or fish easy choose. Where? Ah, hey! No! Ah. What is he gonna do to my mole man? Too fast, too soon. Wait, what? Flying bears! He's going bullshit mode on me. Ah, <sighs> what the fuck? I wish I had my larva. Um, come on. River otter. Mm. Rabbit! He's <laughs> a rabbit. Aw, oh, he's so cute. Anyways. Come on. Um. Strange larva. God damn it, what the fuck? I don't want to die. This seems like horseshit. Um. I like am not meant to win this or something? I don't know, man. Seems like horseshit. How am I supposed to win that? Horseshit. I had a cool deck and you're saying I'm gonna lose it because this guy's gonna beat me by bullshit means? That's horseshit f fucking eight flying bears. Excuse me. It forces me that I have to die? I was trying so hard. Oh, to stay alive the entire game is it just impossible? 
And I'm gonna have people in the comments being like, Nico, if you just would have done this and that, you would have won. But you're just too small brained. You may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Mm. Yeah, my death card. There's, there's no way of fucking surviving that. Ah, uh, here you can from my media. Okay, well, I mean, obviously I'm gonna take them. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw... Oh, the cost from... Oh, I mean, obviously him. Uh, it's power and health. Just the power and health? I don't want to have a weak version of me. What is this? You're not giving me, like, the larva. And now choose a card which will extract the sigils. Infinite and time-based. Time-based in what? Can I... This is, yeah, of, of many lives. I never did ask your name. Yeah. There's now but one final matter, but it depends. Growth into what? The portrait. That'd be a curious question. You do not need to smile. I am a little bit curious. I didn't have a card with high, high stats. Obviously, or else I mean I would have obviously used them the Yeti. But I am curious if it is a card where it will evolve into something else, then a dead version of your past self, or however it works in this game, what does my character grow into via the time-based evolution? Or growth? Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand... Oh yeah, bones. So I'm guessing for them to introduce bones, you have to die at some point in this game. There's no way to actually survive. Like, I beat the first boss, but in the demo, the first boss was... Or, well, the first boss? Or just the bear fight was unwinnable, so I'm guessing then they just made it so from the bear being unwinnable, they made it so this point was unwinnable. Unless there's some way, like, I don't either, I didn't have enough cards, but again, the bears were bullshit. The bears are unwinnable. Flying bears! A resourceful opossum costs two bones. They have to introduce the bone system. I, I forgot about that, too. You can gain a bone when a hundred of your creatures perishes for any reason. Yeah. Hello again, Mr. Stoat. Um... Well, a rattler. Well, I'm not gonna get him killed, so I mean... From the death of your creature, you gain a bone. Yeah. You will not... You lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Um... Like... Mm, yeah. The rattler's gonna do bad damage, though. But he would have killed the stoat instantly if I put him there. And I'd rather not obviously die in this starting fight, but... Um... Hmm. Either that, like, the wolf would also... I mean, the wolf wouldn't die, no. Because the wolf would go after I place him down. Hmm. Shit. I don't want to die, but I want to also do this right. I mean, I don't know why I just don't want to sacrifice the stone. I, I guess I may as well. Because otherwise I might actually die, because three damage is, is a lot. Ah, fuck it. Sorry, Mr. Stoat, but I, I need... Was I asleep again? Yes, you were. And now upon doing that, I also have an opossum. Opossums are so cute. I love opossums, man. Now the wolf kills the rattler. And the... Well, okay, I'm gonna have to be careful now. I need more squells, but I also need this. Oh, the bullfrog. Uh, the rattler will kill the wolf. Problematic. But the wolf will at least get... Uh, both of them will get four damage in before he dies. Whatever. Yep. Bullfrog. The bullfrog will also kill him in time, so whatever. Go ahead, Mr. Frog. Bonk. Oh boy, a squirrel. And I win. But no, but do I, do I, I, I'm gonna assume I just don't have my deck again. But I had a larva! I loved it! What do you say? I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Sure. 
Oh, now they have my collection. Do they? What is this? Or is it what it's current at right currently right now? Let us continue. Yeah, let's see. Who it? Oh, I hate when my headset needs charging. But otherwise, I think I'm gonna have to be leaving it here before this episode gets too long. But we'll check these out first. The Cowdy Four Bones. Ugh. What did you expect for only four bones? Rattler Six Bones. I mean, it's really good if you just if you have tons of bones and you just want to throw them on the field to either kill something or do a quick three damage before dying. Yeah. Cockroach. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. That does sound useful. Unkillable. Also, book. 273. I'll we'll have to do that. Two, I mean, the, the, the stoat would tell me otherwise, but yeah. 273. Um. Unkillable. It consumes a lot, but does so little. I don't think it's worth it, honestly. And they all have one health no matter what, so I might as well go with the one that has the most damage. Because why would I... It's not like it dies. It does one damage. It dies from an enemy, let's say. And I put him back in the field. I've consumed eight bones. That's a lot. Yeah. It's just not worth it. You know you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. Yes. I am no tyrant, you may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to um, time to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Is it 273 or 237? Hmm. Stinkbug! I remember you! Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. And the key. We'll do this quickly before ending it then. Bonk. Don't mind me. I'll just solve this quickly as I did before, totally. Bonk, bonk. You too. Mm, gimme. No, I didn't. Okay, well, we got the skink. Curious about that, though. Raven and Squirrel. Was it for my last game? Anyways, I'll do this quickly as well. Okay, and this one. Ah, yes, we're grand. Formidable creatures, those ants very well. Yeah, or those ants very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Mmm. Bugs. Oh shit, more! Nice, okay, well I'll get these done too. There's just two before. Cool. You need to do five damage. Easy. Alright, this one's done. Hey, the cage wolf. Curious. Oh, I didn't get to read or see him. I'll have to check it out later. And I'll get this one done too, I guess. Quickly. Hmm. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Mm. Well, I guess that's. Ev oh, wait. I blew the candle. What does that mean? Does that mean anything? Wait. Smoke going into the. A lantern? Does that mean anything? I feel like there's something, maybe, a puzzle about this. Also stealing the gold teeth, okay. Curious. I feel like there's something about this. Like if I find a matchbook I can light, maybe? Maybe there's something to the side of this cabinet. Nope, oh, it's saved. So I'm gonna leave it here. I got all the cards in there. Actually, wait, I could... Yeah, Cage Wolf. Six health. It can't... Hmm. I'm gonna expect we get to free it at some point, or... Hmm. I think I get what it's going for here. The Cage Wolf, it takes 
two to summon it. What we want is for the wolf to die, which will release it from the cage. That's probably it. Also, stink bug. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. That's hilarious. What if it's like a card that only has one attack, then just does zero because it's stinky? Uh, Dan Queen, yeah. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Very nice. That'd be go great with a larva card. But anyways, the cage wolf, yeah, I'm going to try to set it free whenever I can. We also got three gold teeth from the uh, skull. So when we meet the trapper, we'll be able to get something decent. But anyways, we'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed and look forward, I guess, more uh, more me playing. Hopefully there, uh, hopefully, the future scenarios or fights aren't going to become impossible and then basically wasting my time somewhat. Like, dying is progress, like it's a roguelike game, but still, it's somewhat annoying losing the cards I had to re-get in the strategies I had going with that, with that larva. It was just so beautiful. I felt overpowered. I felt so strong, but then I died because of bullshit like eight flying fucking bears. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.